part three. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Hungarian. Woo! Don't fuck with the Hungarian. Yeah. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Don't fuck with the Hungarians. And you're Hungarian, Todd. I can't believe you, you letting your nationality you know, down like that. Your nationality is my nationality. Hungarian. Don't put up with that shit. I can't believe you. You actually stoop to their level. That's what you're doing. You're stooping to their level. If they irritate you, if they piss you off, block them. That's all I got to say, Todd. Lord, I'd love to give you thanks for this food that I'm about to eat. And Lord, may I ask that it always keep me healthy and strong. I love you, Lord Jesus. Please, Lord, please, take this bad pus from me, this pain from me. Get this tube out of me. Let me get back to work. That's all I ask, Lord. Please not make me have surgery. Please, Lord, that's up to you. Love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. There you go. That's all I can ask. That's all I can say. Okay. Oh, man. Look at here. Look at here. Thin cut. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. Thin cut. Oh my god, so good. That's so good. There you go. Toad in the hall, look at that. Toad in the hall. Flip that baby upside down. Hold her in half, but I don't want to do that because I don't want the yolk coming off. I have to do surgery, I'll do the surgery. 
Because now it's used as when well bad being made. Like. You don't know how to pressure at home, matter of fact, as well. Well, I don't know about his home life, uh, so I wouldn't dare oh. to. Oh. If I have to do it for you, I'll do it for you. Oh! And this is a right, great way of going about a great aggressive start from Canelo. I like this. I'm telling you, like I said, the nation's building, he at home from his wife. And Even the lady. Like he didn't let this family down. He's not being a the best. That's a St. Vincent story. I thought you did it. She's just, well, yeah. And again, Canales has not mentioned that aggression coming out. So how long has it been? She goes about six years. Oh, they're on main event. Maybe this is what he wants. You feel better now? She goes, well, I feel better than ever. There you go. That's right. Ryder hasn't even got out of the oh. game. She survived it. Yeah. 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 But she, she's oh, teaching me a lesson that um, when the doctors tell you not to do something, don't do it. Because she found out. She said she called up the doctor and said that she's got a really sharp pain inside. He goes, were you pushing something? She goes, yeah. When the doctor tells you not to push nothing, don't push nothing. I guess when you push something, see, I already felt that. I felt my stomach tighten up. I don't do very acting like I'm going to push something. Just by acting. You know? Push it forward. Arm is forward. Your stomach tightens up. See? That's that. Maybe she went to push her chair in. Oh! You mentioned that victory the last time these two met. See, that's why I'm afraid to do it because who's going to help me? I got nobody. Aww. Well, they say you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yeah. I don't want to die. I'm, I'm like, why is this happening to me? You know? Why? Like I said, I can blame one person. And that'd be my evil ex landlord. He's looking to get back on a roll here on main event, back on the roll in the WWE. The first mistake we've seen for She's put a goddamn evil curse on me. Oh. If anything, it should be re reversed on her times three. Why would she wish on me? Never do that to people. Never wish something bad on somebody because karma is a bitch. She's going to come back to her on times three. So whatever, she, whatever she's wishing on me, Wishing that I die and shit, that's gonna happen to her. She's gonna die a horrible death. Horrible. Horrible. Very tragic. That's that's it was close. That's it. She's wishing this to happen to me. Right now, what's happening to me? I almost died. Her wish almost came true. That's if if she is doing all this. She brought on her own. That's all I gotta say. She, she brought the shit on her own. Got me spitting out cool. Got me so angry. She brought the shit on her own. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna show her no mercy. Not even God. Because I am one of God's greatest creations. I cut my arm off with a chainsaw. And live. God does not want me to die. And if she's wishing on for me to die, 
Wow. He's gonna get hurt. Oh, that ain't right. Come on now. And it's actually the best. I ain't wishing shit on him. Wow. I wish you'd leave me alone. That's it. That's all. Here we go. Yes, sir. I wish she would leave me alone and get on with her fucking life. Is her life really that fucking pathetic? Still to come on me a bit. Ojo Wally goes straight to head with Apollo Crew. Her well, husband don't want nothing to do with her. I believe her children don't want nothing to do with her. But up next, less than two weeks before the Undertaker, he's privileged for the last time ever. The only one she has right now is her mother. I bet she's probably getting her doubts on her tool. We'll find out next. But her mom could be just as evil as her. Maybe she's learning it from her mom. I never knew of her mom being evil. But her mom did get right up in my face. Oh yeah. In my apartment. Her mother got right up in her face and put her finger right in my face and I seen the evil in her. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. I remember now. Her mom can be evil. That's who she learned it from. She got right. Because I threatened to call the cops on, on Annie because she was going to go in the garage and start throwing all my shit out of the garage. I said, you touch any of my shit in the garage, I will call the cops right now. And then her mom got right up in my face and put her finger right in my face and said, nobody's going to fuck with your shit. You ain't calling no cops. Whoa. Her mom got up in my face. A Put a finger right in my face. And, and that's when I said, okay, y'all can leave now. You've got your pictures, y'all can leave right now. She says, why me to Carl? You need to get out there and cut the grass. Just because I gave her the rent for that month. That put me back on the lease. Month to month lease. I paid her a rent, that put me back on the lease. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, well, got your case? Go, you can leave now. Now. You can leave. And they left. But she was still talking shit on the way out the door. She said, I mean it, Carl. Better cut that grass. The county's gonna charge you if they, she goes, Carl, if they cut it, they're gonna charge you for cutting it. Not me. Because she's gonna fight that. I say that I'm on the leash and that's part of our, that's part of our agreement. Whatever. I cut it. They say delusion. Probably because she couldn't get no one to do it. Yeah. And that made her look like a bad landlord. Oh, yeah. That's why I purposely didn't cut it. I'm like, why'd you cut it for her? She's a victim me. Why'd you cut her grass when she's a victim me? Why? Made me look like a fool, huh? Than Triple H. And I know a lot of you guys right now, you guys and you gals, are probably saying I was a fool for cutting it. Because if y'all were being evicted, are you going to be cutting her grass? Hell no, right? Fuck that shit. He told you that I had lost all and not my self respect. I just got done working 10 hours at work. I mean, when they work me, they work me hard. So I came home sore, tired, soaking wet, and then I had to cut the grass on top of that. When I was done finally cutting that grass, the lady across the street, she sent her son over and asked me to cut her grass from a riding lawnmower. So I'm like, being a nice guy, I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. So I went over and cut her grass too. So I worked 20 hours that day, 10 hours at work. And 10 hours cutting the grass, my grass and her grass. I know I didn't have to cut it, but. 
Mm. Her ex-boyfriend kind of laughed about it. Says so she suckered you into that. This battlefield is the boardroom. Huh. His life so filled with lies that he can no longer. That was my going away gift. Yeah, because I was moving on. So I figured I'd be nice. Yeah. He can't see. If I can be nice to one person, in his own that's all that matters. See, that's why God wants me to and live. He can't see his own. I'm the kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that likes to fool around. Because uh, I'm a wanderer. I'm a wanderer. No I like to roll around, 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 around. What any man thinks. Only what I know. And what I know is this. The wanderer. Check out that song. When I, I think I got that on YouTube. For the last time, the result will be just like the first time. I will put him a six feet under. See, it's not just about me eating. It's about the stories. So if y'all watching my videos, watch them. Now. So I might just miss a nice good good old story. A triple H. No, I'm not sure it's a true. He's gonna do everything that he can to outrace the I got to really bad. He's gonna move heaven and earth. Even enlist his best friend, Love you, John bye. Michaels.